I'm making this uh, shaving video for my nephew Tyler because I showed him how to uh, shave with a straight razor and he lives in another state so um, I've since gotten him his own straight razor and um, he was asking me uh, about kind of some refreshers about how to shave. I shaved with him once and so I'm making this video just so that I can kind of easily archive it and he can go back. But anyway, um, I'm just going to show the shaving. Kind of making my lather right now. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cover this part. But while I'm making up the lather, I wanted to kind of explain a couple things. One is stropping. Um, I don't strop right before I shave. I always strop after I shave. I don't know why. Probably because if I'm in a rush, then I can go ahead and put the razor down and I can strop at another time. Um, and so since then, it's just been a habit. And I'm not going to cover the stropping either. So um, the other thing is really important to know kind of where your whiskers grow, what direction. Um, some guys talk about doing like a three pass shave, some, some do a two. Um, I do two mostly, almost all the time. Um, I find it gets pretty rough on me if I try and do three. So I do two and it took me a while to figure out which two directions to go because in my face, some of the whiskers like down here will grow down, but over here on the side, they actually grow back. So a true against the green is, is kind of tough. So anyway, what I always do is I always just go down in one pass all the way down and then I go up in one pass, you know, all the way up. And that's not truly against the green in some of the spots, but um, so. Anyway, it's important to kind of know your own face and what works for you. So I'm using, so I just got out of the shower. That's the easiest, that's the only time I really shave is right out of the shower. And um, I'm using uh, Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap, which um, to, for me is the best lather possibly can make for shaving. So I'm just putting this on And this is probably going to take longer than usual. I find that from the time I step out of the shower to the time I'm done after stropping and everything, and I'm completely done post-shave, everything is about a half hour. So, I mean, that's a while. It takes a while. And it took me longer in the beginning because I really took my time. Now I probably got it down. I've been doing this probably for about, I don't know, five, six years maybe. This is really the only way I shave anymore. Okay. So that's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Always keep a towel handy. And today I'm using a heart steel razor. It's pretty big and it's quite heavy. It's almost like a wedge. Um, but I have other razors. Some are smaller and kind of more nimble, I guess. This one's a cutter. They all work. Sometimes I just rotate just for the fun and just I have to get used to it again. So anyway, so this is how I hold the razor. Like this. And I start on this side. Just working my way down. Now the angle is kind of important, especially with this razor. For some reason, you want to think about cutting the whiskers, not not scraping your face. And you can see I'm always stretching my face too. And that way, you know, for example, with enough stretch, I, I actually wound up getting a lot of underneath.
you can see I was kind of stretching my my lip out with my tongue there. Got myself a little bit. I used to have a big problem down in here cutting myself. Cut myself very easily, a lot. Um, so anyway, so what I started doing was kind of stretching my skin to get this, the whiskers out of that little pit. All right, so that's it for the first side. I'm gonna rinse off. <clears throat> Because I'm talking, taking more time, what can happen is, and depending on where you are, and I know you're in Arizona, Tyler, the other side can dry out. And so I will sometimes just hit it again real quick. Get wet again. And now I do the other side. switched hands so now I'm left-handed and that took me a while to get used to in the beginning but it's worth it <laughs> tell you never touch the edge of the razor I mean I'm not talking just from a safety perspective but also just touching it on anything I used to in between shaves used to rest this on uh, rest this down on a cap and it just the weight wound up dulling one get it put a little notch in the in the razor which wound up cutting me several times before I figured out what in the world was going on okay so after that first pass I'm gonna just use hot water get my face wet again All over. Okay, and I'm gonna use another more lather. Now, one thing that I notice is uh, that you would notice is without the whisker th thickness that I had on the first pass, the lather doesn't quite stick as much. So, this is almost more like painting it on so it stays, otherwise, it's too slick. Now I do my second pass, which is a you know, quote unquote against the grain, but like I said, it's not quite for me, not in all areas. And I basically start at the bottom now and work my way up. All right, and this time I hold the razor like, like this.
Okay, so I do the neck first, keep working my way out. And you can see how I'm making all these contortions is just to stretch the part that I'm trying to shave. I'm pushing here to stretch the skin right there. Do not go up right under my nose. No way. Cut myself enough. And since I'm right handed, I like to do the chin with my right hand. For that, switch to my left hand, go ahead and hit it with a little bit more lather. When it dries out, inevitably, that's, that's when I cut myself or nick. Now, frankly, this spot is just too hard for me to get in there. I'll try now. A lot of times I don't bother with this pass. That's it. Rinse it off. I dry the blade between every time I rinse. I use my towel and I dry it. I actually had one blade where just the time by not drying it gave me a spot that I had to get out with metal polish. So, <clears throat> so anyway, so that's that. Rinse off with hot. Get all the soap off, and then I put on cold. And 
And that's it. I dab it dry. I'll just show you quickly. I'm not gonna show you everything, but I do use an Allen block after every time I shave. Allen block. I got this kind here. And uh, that's why I just dab it dry because it's gotta be a little bit wet for the, to use this. This is basically like an antiseptic. And if you have little nicks, this takes care of it. So close up the nicks. Stings. Stings a little bit wherever you have a nick. Now if you have something a little bit more severe than a nick, usually that's all I use with Allen block. If you have something a little bit more severe, you can use something called a styptic pencil. Styptic pencil, you can get this at, I get mine at Target. You can get it at Walgreens. And it's just, it's a similar type of thing. It's like a stick and you just rub it on the, on the area that cut you cut. So for example, I'll just do it here real quick. And it dries really white. So what I normally do is now I'll just, I'll rinse out the bowl. I'll, I'll strop my razor for next time. And then this will all dry. And then I will rinse it off with water afterwards. And then put on some uh, aftershave balm and, and some aftershave lotion or something, whatever you like. So that's that. So um, anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, good luck, Tyler. And uh, hope you get a smooth face.